Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to tell you about internet checksum. This is one of the error detection algorithm, and we have a data to send in hexadecimal 466F, 726F, 757A, 616E. So we will see that how we find the uh, error using internet checksum. So in this internet checksum, we are going to. Uh, before I come to this algorithm, I will tell you about two things. The first is that about you should have a knowledge about hexadecimal digit. So hexadecimal values start from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, till 15. So after 9 the values will be A, B, C, D, E, F. So this A is representing the value of 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we are having a value from 0 till 15. So this is the first thing you should know about hexadecimal. And second thing is that in this checksum we are going to use once complement addition. So let's see what is the meaning of once complement addition. Suppose we are adding two binary values like 1001 plus 1101. So when you add these two values, 1 1 is 0, carry 1, and this is 1 plus 0 is 1, and 1 plus 1 0, carry 1. So this 1 is added, which is a carry, is added to the least significant bit and we are going to get 0 1 1 1 ok so this is called com once complement addition so whenever you get a carry in the rightmost bit in the most significant position you have to add that carry to the least significant position ok so now let us come to the problem so given the given the data to send okay we will see that how to compute the checksum uh, at the sender side and if there is any error how the how we can detect the error in the receiver side so we will see the sender side So we have the values as 46, 6F, 726F, 757A, 616E and we will set the initial value of the checksum as 0000. So this is the initial value of the checksum. So now let us see how to add. So we are going to do the addition of all this value. So this is f means 15. Ok. So 15 plus 15 that is 30. 30 plus a means 10. That is 40. 40 plus 14 is 54. So 54 if you divide by 16, you will get 3 and you are going to get a remainder of uh, how much? You are going to get a remainder of 6. So this 6 you are going to put it down and this portion that you got will be the carry. Okay. So this is how you need to do all the addition in each of the columns. So 
Here it is 66 plus 6, 12, plus 6, 18, 18 plus 3 is 21, 21 plus 7 is 28. So 28 divided by 16, 1 just 16, and you're going to get 12. So carry is 1, and 12 indicates the value C. So you can write now. 6 plus 1, 7, 8, 9, 10, plus 5, 15. 15 means F. Carry is 0. Now 7 plus 7, 14, plus 4, 18, and 6, 18 plus 6 is 24. So 24. I'll divide by 16, you're going to get 8. So 1 is a carry here and 8. So this one I'm going to use the once complement addition that we have learned. Okay. So and we are going to give this as a, as a carry 1. So we got this sum but not the actual one. So now we, after the carry is added, we are going to get the actual sum as 8F C7. Okay, this is my sum. And to get the checksum, checksum to send, we have to do a complement of this sum. So complement means subtracting each value by 15. Okay. So 15 minus 7 is 8. 15 minus C. C means 12. So that is 3. 15 minus 15. F is 15. So that is 0. And 15 minus 8 is 7. So this is my checksum that we got in this sender site. So now the sender is going to send, let's see the working the receiver site. This is my receiver site. So the sender will send the data as 46, 6F, 72, 6F, 75, 7A, and 616E. And the checksum will be the new checksum that is 7038. So this is the checksum. So now the receiver will add all these values. This is the checksum. So it will add 15 plus 15 that is 30, 30 plus 10, 40, 40 plus 14, 54, 54 plus 8, 62. Divide by 16, it is going to get 16, 3 of 48. So 3 is the carry and 14 means the value E. Now again here you have to add 6 plus 6 12, 6 18, 6 24, 24 plus 7 is 31. 31, so one time it will go, we will get a remainder as so the carry is 1 and the remainder 15 means indicating the value of f in the hexadecimal. Similarly, we have got 6 plus 1, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 plus 5, 15. 15 means f, here the carry is 0. So now we are going to add 7, 7, 3 is 21, 21 plus 
4 is 25, 25 plus 6 is 31. So 31 divided by 16, 16 1 just 16, so you're getting 15. So this is F and we have a carry of 1. Okay. So this one is added in the least significant place. So E which is 14 plus 1, 15, that is equal to F. So we are getting the sum as F, 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 F. So in, that is in the receiver side and when you take a complement of this, of this value, so you have to subtract each one of them with 15, you are going to get 15 minus 15 is 0, 0, 0, 0. So this is a checksum is 0. It indicates that there is no error. But if but if the checksum is non zero it will indicate error while sending the data okay thanks for watching that's all guys hope you have understood the concept of checksum okay and how to do the how to get the uh, checksum in the sender side and how to check out the value in the receiver side and come to the conclusion thanks for watching that's all guys